in these problems we're being asked to find the exact values of trig functions of points on the unit circle. So what's the sine of 3 pi over 4 or what's the cosine of 90 degrees? The trick here is that when we look at points on the unit circle the cosine is the x value of that coordinate and the sine is the y value. So we can use our knowledge that we've gained previously about um, the coordinates for uh, special angles here. Here we have 3 pi over 4 so let's find where that is on our circle. So actually we'll add a couple labels here. Here's 0, here's pi over 2 which is 2 pi over 4. So 3 pi, here's pi, 3 pi over 4 is going to be right between pi and pi over 2. You may remember that pi over 4 values always have those square root of 2 over 2 coordinates and we just have to um, figure out what the sine is according to the quadrant. In this case the x value is going to be negative and the y value is going to be positive. So our coordinate here at 3 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Now the sine is the y value so our answer is just this part. So this equals the square root of 2 over 2. All right, let's try to find the cosine of 90 degrees. This shouldn't be too hard. 90 degrees is right up here at pi over 2. So we start from 0, we go up 90 degrees, and we want the cosine. That's the x value. Well, the x value here is 0. So the cosine of 90 is 0. If you want to double check that, you can punch it into your calculator. Punch in 90 and take the cosine, and you get the value 0. All right, the last one here is 11 pi over 6. So where is 11 pi over 6? Well, um, you may remember that um, 12 pi over 6 is 2 pi. So 12 pi over 6 is, is right here at 0 or 2 pi. So 11 pi over 6 is just going to be 1 pi over 6 before that. So right there, so that's 11 pi over 6. So what are our coordinates here? And that may seem a little tricky to you. You might remember that the, the pi over 6 values are going to be um, square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half, but the x and the y uh, switch around depending on where you are in the circle, and then of course so do the, the positive and negative signs. So if we think about this, the longer side longer value here is the x value. That's going to be the greater value. So our x is going to be 3 over the square root of 2. Um, the, the shorter value here is the y, so that's the 1 half. And that part is negative because we're down here in this quadrant. So there's our coordinate, square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. So that's this coordinate right here. And we want to find the sine. The sine is the y value. So the answer here is going to be negative one half. So that is a little bit of work with uh, finding the values of trig functions uh, using the unit circle.